you know, we have to talk about Smash for a minute because so many of us fell in love with you on that show. Yeah. And so many people have found Smash in reruns and everything else. We'll talk about fans like yeah. who I meet. I just had this young girl at stage door the other day who, um, she was quite young. She looked like she was like 16 or yeah. 17. And she's like, I just discovered Smash. I just binge watched it the other yeah. day. And I'm like, that's so yeah. amazing that people can find series from six years ago yeah. and, and fangirl about it. Fanboy, fangirl. Yeah. It's yeah. a bigger hit now. Oh, yeah. It was a big mistake for them to cancel the show. Yeah. I think so. Like, totally And I think agree. even, I think even Bob, Greenblatt was quoted saying that like he he wished that he hadn't canceled it so early. He's not even at NBC yeah. anymore. Yeah. But you know it was at a time when we were way ahead of the curve, and I think it was at a time that they didn't know how to monetize uh, DVR numbers, yeah. right? Like they didn't know how to like look at all these. Oh my gosh, we have so many DVD. I'm sorry, DV, DVR, DVR viewers, yeah. and they are people who advertisers love and all that, and they just couldn't like equate it to. You know, proving... More people were watching Smash than didn't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you must have so many incredible memories of that show. Yeah. What did that show mean to you? That show, to me, um, meant my childhood dreams coming true. Yeah. I mean, I remember being in the recording studio with Megan Hilty, who I love and adore. Yeah. Um, and we were recording Let Me Be Your Star. And I said to her, I remember so specifically saying, like, this is so crazy. And we barely knew each other at that point. We got on right uh, yeah. along really well right away. But I just said, isn't this so crazy? It just feels like like all your childhood dreams are coming true. And when she goes, literally, it's exactly that. Yeah. It feels like all your childhood dreams are coming true. So that for me, it just represents like something that, sure, I would love to have something else like that that encompasses everything you've ever dreamt of, you know? Um, I mean, being on stage does that as well. But like Smash was that first thing that really... I felt that I had worked so hard yeah. after Post Idol to get something that people really paid attention to and cared about and was like, wow, and saw you in a different way. And, you know, that for me was that, that moment. Even though it was short-lived, the two years, it's, it's been nice because it's lived on, yeah. you know?